If you want to know about the latest news and changes to economic stimulus packages, you can watch Stimulus Updates. Ali here, and I'm your host. Today we have some great news to share with you. But before we get to today's changes, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you never miss a thing that has to do with stimulus. During these tough times, we're here to keep you updated and give you power. All right. Let's begin right away. We'll go over the most recent changes to a bill that is shocking people all over the system that affects Social Security. You've been following the story of clawbacks, and guess what? There are disagreements between Democrats and Republicans, but they are putting them aside to protect our seniors. After a long time, both parties have finally come together on this, and boy, is it going to shake things up? Before we get down to business, Please stay with me until the end. Believe me, it changes everything. Channel 11 has obtained an exclusive letter signed by two senators. The news station is always on the cutting edge of breaking news. There are six senators in this group who want the Social Security Administration to explain things. They want to know how big the problem is, how many seniors are having to deal with these overpayments, and most importantly, what the agency is doing to stop more damage. But let's give these stories a face. Think about this. It's the holiday season, and Debbie Lennox, who has been getting Social Security since 2011, is confused because her check just disappeared without any notice. Overpaid by a huge $35,000. Now think about having to deal with that during the holidays, especially if your husband is sick. I want to hear from you now. Please take a moment to answer our short question. First, let us know if you no longer trust the Social Security Administration, and second, let us know if you still do. We care about what you think and want to hear from you. Let's talk about plans now. See how much money you've made in the past is one of the smartest things you can do before you quit. It's what your future rewards will be built on. Social Security sends you bills every year. That's great. It is easy to find the facts. If you haven't already, go to their website and click on my Social Security account. There, you can get your information. Remember that the amount of money you get when you leave is directly related to how much you worked. If you make a mistake in your records, it could cause you trouble in the future. It's not enough to just catch a mistake, though. It's important that you tell Social Security right away. Keep getting in their way until they fix the mistake. Write down everything you sent and got as well as who you talk to and how you can contact them again. It's your protection against getting headaches in the future. Let's go back to the action now. A bill that was pushed by representatives Ruben Gigio and Garrett Graves is getting a lot of attention. What's so bad about letting the Social Security Administration look back only 10 years to get back over payments? To put it more simply, they can't go back more than 10 years to get back over payments. It's being praised as common sense law by both parties, which is fair. But let's not forget about how it affects people. For over a year, Denise Woods was without a home after her disability payments were cut off suddenly because of a demand for $58,000 more than she owed. Take a moment to think about that. The letter from the Social Security Administration hit her like a ton of bricks. It asked for money she couldn't pay back. So. They're not giving her her regular payment until February 2026. Woods is living in her car right now while she looks for a safe place to sleep every night. It's a stark warning that these aren't just mistakes made by the government. For people on fixed means, these events change their lives. Now let's talk about some good news. Senator Sherrod Brown is pushing for the SSI Savings Penalty Elimination Act which is picking up speed. Politicians aren't the only ones. 
at least eight high-level bank leaders are supporting it. CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase Jamie Diamond was born in has said on record that SSI recipients shouldn't be limited to having $2,000 in their bank accounts. This cap makes it very hard for them to save money or make extra money. The CEOs of Bank of America are in favor of raising the cap to $10,000 for individuals and $20,000 for couples. Beneficiaries will have more financial freedom because of it, which could change the game. We should now talk about the 2024 COLA change, the much anticipated pay rise. Seniors have been getting ready for a 3.2% rise, but many aren't sure if it will happen. Why? The high cost of living isn't going down, and just because inflation is going down doesn't mean that prices will go down too. The average raise expected for 2024 is about $59 and seniors should be able to see the new rates by January, given at different times each week based on when they were born. For people who get SSI, mark your calendars. You should get your payment on December 29, 2023, which is the first Friday before January 1, 2024 SD. If you began getting Social Security benefits before May 1,997, or if you get both Social Security and SSI benefits, your checks will go up on December 29, E, the same day as SSI. The changes will also show up in your January 3 or Social Security check. If your birthday is between the 1st and 10th of the month you were born, you should get your check by January 10, E, 2024. People born between January 11, E and January 20, E, 2024, should get their check by January 17, 2024. For people born between 21 SD and 31 STU, by January 24, 2024, you should get a check with the new COLA amount on it. The age-old question comes up. Are we trying to find a quick fix that only takes care of people's immediate problems, or are we trying to find a long-term answer that will keep the program going for 50, 70, or even 100 years. Even though people have different thoughts, there is a clear agreement that for Social Security to be stable in the future, we need a well thought out plan. Here's a question for you to think about. Does the COLA change seem like enough? Or do you think more needs to be done to help these programs for people on fixed incomes? Thanks for your time. Keep up with the news, be careful, and I'll see you in the next film. This is the end of the movie for today. I'll see you in the next movie. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like the video so you can see more.